My love, by the grace of our Lord, we have made it to today. The sun is just a glimmering. I cannot number the many nights I spent wondering where you were. The days I spent doubting you existed are immeasurable. There were many days in the last four years I went into the wilderness to pray for you. Despite my lack of faith, God has been faithful. He has declared his name, Elohim Shama, the God who hears. He brought me you. Um, Francesca, as I caught you at birth in the delivery room, God sent this lightning bolt of love throughout every fiber of my being. I'd never experienced that before. He used you as our firstborn to show me unconditional love in the flesh and continue his lifelong transformation of my old heart of stone. That bond will remain with Mommy and I all the days of our lives. For that alone, we're forever thankful, Princess. By the way, my ringtone for you of Daddy's Little Girl. It ain't going anywhere. Wow. <laughs> Truly a princess bride. Look at this. Hi, sweetheart. Hey, yes, yes. Wow. <laughs> you guys look so good. You so sweet. <laughs> wearing a big white dress. I'm wearing a big white dress. <laughs> Thank you guys, you like it? Oh yeah. The blue. Are you gonna be toting that around? Yep. She's she's done a great job so far. Yeah. My love, I'm having trouble knowing where yeah. to begin. But I think I can start by thanking the Lord for his faithfulness in bringing you to me. When I first met you, my walls were up and I was so guarded because I was afraid of being hurt or disappointed. It was easier to hold you at a distance than to let you know uh, the real me. However, you proved within our first couple of dates that you would not be deterred so easily, and you pursued me with such incredible intentionality and showed me time and time again that you were serious about not just pursuing me, but also pursuing the Lord faithfully in our relationship. We're so thankful to come before you, our great and holy God. We thank you for the gift of Francesca. Um, just the sweet sister she is and the friend and daughter. Um, we're thankful for her faithfulness in her single years and how she just shone so bright for you. So grateful for um, Taryn and just you bringing him into her life and just the godly man that he is and how much he loves her and serves her and, um, and just leads her towards Christ every day. There, there's anything I can afford. Your marriage is a testimony. It's a testimony, like he said, of what God has done in the life of every single believer that loves and serves him. But marriage, just like the Christian faith, is not the end all and it's not the pinnacle. It's merely the starting point. You will not walk this journey alone. Look around you. Look at this table. Look at all these tables out here. You are surrounded by people that love the two of you dearly. I always prayed that I would marry someone who would push me in my relationship with Christ, lead well, value family, and desire to build a life that would bring glory to God. You are an answer to every one of those prayers. You make me laugh with your ridiculous humor. You are a safe place for me to come to with all my cares. You encourage me daily with your faithfulness, and you bless me constantly with your desire to care for both my family and yours. I pray that Christ be magnified in our love for each other. 
I pray God gives me the strength I don't have in myself to love you as Christ loves his bride. I pray that through being your husband from today till the day we leave this world, that I steward you well and you are closer to Christ. I do not deserve you, but I will love you. I am weak, but I will lead you. Dude, thank you. I am pumped. I couldn't be more pumped. I wish you guys were here. In Taryn's own words, that conversation was a defining point in our dating. I walked away from the bridge that night knowing two things. First, I wanted Francesca as my spouse, should the Lord allow it. And second, that very bridge would be the place I would ask her if engagement was in God's plan. But fast forward to December of 2023 and Taryn did just that. better together than you ever could apart because um, there's no point to marriage if you're not serving the Lord together and um, furthering his kingdom. Today we are one before him in marriage. Let's begin this journey. Stop. 